This is BBC News. I'm Stephen Cole. I'm Stephen Cole. I'm Stephen Cole. I'm Stephen Cole. Please welcome Stephen Cole. Welcome to this episode of Superpower Game of Thrones, live from Almaty. You are an investor on the hugely popular British television show Dragon's Den. What in particular are you looking for from the people who are pitching their products to you? As a hypnotist, are you correcting the bad parts of the unconscious? Yes, um, but I see human beings as an ecosystem. You were being as humble as normal when you said you took part in two Olympics. In fact, you were a double gold medal Olympic winner. The China Tang restaurant here at the Dorchester Hotel in London is home to some of the finest, authentic Cantonese food to be found outside China. China Tang bears the unmistakable fingerprint of the flamboyant creator, Sir David Tang. I'm going to meet the man in charge, John Mann. Uh, have a great new year. Thank you. Kong hee fa choi. Kong hee fa choi. On a Sunday, everybody comes to the Ramblers. They all walk, they talk, they make funny faces, but they're having fun. This is Barcelona. This is a city of the future. I know when it comes to news, you're sport for choice. So many channels, so many opinions. But it's time to step off the news roundabout. Time to cut out the noise. Get to the heart of the real story with a talk show with a difference. Who do we trust? Uh, people, politicians, institutions. And do we still have confidence in them? My name is Stephen Cole, and I would like to welcome you to this extraordinary session on human trafficking here in Baku. Our final panelist, uh, Mira Sorvino. The UN estimates there are at least 200 million migrants illegally in the world. They're there because they leave home because of war, border freedoms, and economic disparities. And that's UN speak for escaping poverty. The top price ticket for Davos is $163,000. So did the delegates get value for money? Well, they certainly had access to more than 50 heads of state and government. I met Q's Director of Science, Alexander Antonelli, and asked him about the true scale of the crisis and what can be done to solve it. What as people can we do? Not governments, uh, not companies, but individuals. What can we do? Elizabeth Maruma Marema, the Executive Secretary of the UN Convention on Biological Diversity. I can't imagine, Elizabeth, you ever being angry or stressed. <laughs> You're in currently the eye of the storm. How would you describe your escape? As a, an author of, of fiction, are you being deceitful in creating a sort of romantic idea of a spy? One is trying to entertain, basically. I mean, that's the, the role of the storyteller. 